Breaking news tonight, charges filed against a suspected teenage gunman who police say went to his former high school to commit murder. This as we learn more about the school resource officers who heroic actions may have prevented a massacre at Dixon High School. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. That officer shot and wounded suspect Matt Milby while students huddled inside classrooms. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar begins our team coverage live in Dixon tonight. Charlie. Rob and Erica, that suspected shooter has been charged with three counts of aggravated discharge of a weapon. It has been a long day here in Dixon, but that school resource officer standing out for what he did at this school this morning, running towards danger, saving so many students and teachers. Traffic, shot fired at Dixon High School, shot fired at Dixon High School. Before you knew it, everyone was running, you know, I, but it was, it was scary. That's really scary. And we heard there was a live shooter, so we all took off outside. Dixon High School seniors were inside the gym Wednesday morning practicing for graduation, quickly finding themselves running outside when police say a 19 year old former student came in with a gun, later identified as Matt Milby. That is a phone call I never thought I would get, and my first response was no, no, no. School resource officer Mark Dallas ran towards Milby. The two exchanged shots as the former student tried running away. Milby was shot, now in custody with non life threatening injuries. With shots ringing out through the hallways of the school, he charged toward the suspect and confronted him head on. Because of his heroic actions, countless lives were saved. I'm thankful Officer Dallas was there when he was. Local and federal officers searched Milby's home looking for a possible motive. I'm just going to win a lot of worse, and um, Officer Dallas saved a lot of lives today. And tonight, Milby is still in the hospital being held on $2 million bond. We are told that more charges could be coming. As for graduation, it is still set for this weekend. Live in Dixon, Illinois, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Erica. All right, Charlie, thank you.